Hi everybody, I'm back with another corset review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Gothic Sweetheart Overbust Corset made by Rebel Madness. So here's the front, side, back, and the other side. For the length and fit of this corset, this is one of the longest overbust corsets I've ever tried. And as somebody with a longer torso, let me tell you how happy this makes me. The center front here is 17 inches, and along the princess seam from the peak of the bust here down to uh, the lap here is 18 and a half inches. 12 of those inches is from the waist up here, so I feel very, very secure uh, in the bust line here. There is no way that I'm going to be popping out of this. Along the side seam, you can see that it actually comes down uh, along the side. This is the shortest length of the corset, and I really like like this feature as well because it helps uh, me to uh, lower my arms and lower my shoulders. You might remember in some of my other overbust corset reviews, I kind of looked like a linebacker. Like I, I, I had my shoulders hunched a little bit because I was not able to put my shoulders down and back uh, like I would normally do in an underbust corset simply because uh, the corset was pushing up into my armpits sometimes. Or I would get uh, some of that flesh spillover and I would kind of hunch um, unconsciously to try and prevent some of that squidge from happening under here. But with this corset, I don't have to worry so much about that. So along the side seam here, I believe is uh, 13 and a half inches. And then along the center back, this one measures 16 inches. Although if you check the website, they will say that it's closer to 15 inches. For these circumferential measurements, today I'm wearing the size 26. Now I did lose a significant amount of weight in the past couple of months, so it is too big for me. It's completely closed in the back with room to spare but and it still gives a decent curve and it's very comfortable on me despite the fact that I'm not filling it out completely so along the bust line here is 36 inches so it has a 10 inch bust spring and it also has a 10 inch hip spring here I measured 36 inches around the hips I would definitely recommend this corset to somebody with a long torso or who might be a little bit taller. It not only comes up quite high in the bust line, but it's also quite long over the tummy here. Now, it's not a long line corset per se. If you have a very protruding or pendulous lower tummy, it may not hold you in uh, perfectly because it's not using the leverage of, of fabric wrapping around the lower hips here to hold that flat. But it does have a significant amount of coverage compared to some other overbust corsets. I've tried in the past. And I would even consider this corset to be suitable for some full busted people. I know some people with uh, an H cup who can wear this corset comfortably and with a parallel gap in the back. Now if you have an even fuller bust, you could probably wear this with a slight V-shaped gap in the back just to give you a little bit more room. But the fact that this corset comes up so high in the front, um, it really makes me feel secure. And because of the back of the corset sweeps up here, it also helps to prevent some muffin top in the back as well. So let me show you the details of this corset. So here's the corset laid flat, and for the materials, it is just two layers of black cotton twill on the outside and also on the inside here. Here you can see the Rebel Madness label as well as the size, and on the back here are the washing instructions and uh, the country of manufacture. This corset has a six panel pattern, so 12 panels total. Uh, panels one and two create most of the uh, swell around the bust area. Panels three and four curve over the hips, and panels four and five, well, that's just kind of the back. There's not many curves cut into the back here. And construction-wise, it was definitely assembled using the weld seam method. So they assemble both layers together, starting with the center front, and then both uh, layers of panel two, then both layers of panel three, um, so that you are sandwiching these bones in between the two layers of the corset. And if I pull the corset taut, you may be able to see the faint outline of the waist tape. So it's sandwiched in between the layers. This is an invisible waist tape. And it starts between uh, the seams of panel one and two, and it extends all the way to the center back seam here. The binding on this corset is made from commercially produced uh, black cotton uh, bias tape, and it is machine stitched on both the outside and on the inside here. It seems to have been stitched on with a single pass, so they probably have a, a tool that attaches to uh, their sewing machine and they sew the bias binding on with just one seam, um, securing and anchoring both the, the top and the back, which is why you see a bit of a top stitch on both the front and the back. 
There was a modesty panel that came with this corset. Uh, it's unstiffened, made with two layers of black cotton twill, and it was suspended on the laces using these grommets here. As you can see, it was uh, it was removed because I can close this corset all the way anyways. So um, for those curious about the width, it is six inches wide, and you can probably use all six inches worth of, of the width because it is suspended on the laces. You may find that it crumples um, when you're lacing up though. That's, that's the one caveat. And there's also a one inch wide modesty placket, unstiffened again, made with black cotton twill, extending out from the knob side of the busk here. The busk in this corset is 16 inches long and it has seven loops and pins equidistantly spaced. It is a heavy duty busk, one inch wide on each side, but because this corset is, uh, or because the, the, the busk itself is quite long, it does have quite a bit of flexibility to it. So you may notice that uh, it bows a little bit when it's on the body if you have a protruding lower tummy. And this corset has a total of 14 bones, seven on each side, not including the front busk here. So uh, between the panels here, here are a quarter inch wide spiral steels and they do faintly attract the magnet here and then in the back are quarter inch wide flat steel bones and because this corset is so long in the back it has a total of 36 grommets equidistantly spaced so 18 on each side and you can see that they are finished in silver and they have a small flange around them these I believe are size double zero and on the back here, you can see that each one is supported by a washer. There are many splits in the back of these grommets and they do catch the laces a little bit, but it's not too terrible that I, I have needed to change the laces at any point yet at, at this time. Uh, the laces themselves, I believe, are black, uh, slightly round nylon shoelace style laces, and they are a little bit spongier. They're a little bit more springy than I'm used to, but they're not terrible. Um, I've had other corsets that have like a round cord that feels kind of waxy or sticky. Uh, I had feel none of that with this and uh, it seems to hold the bow quite well and uh, it's definitely long enough for me. The Gothic Overbust Corset by Rebel Madness is available in sizes 18 inches in the waistline up to 30 inches in the waistline and it is $80 US. It's only available in the black cotton that you see here. And you know what, I wish that this was available in even larger sizes because I think this particular cut of overbust would be very flattering for some plus size women. And this concludes my review of the Gothic Overbust Corset by Rebel Madness. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new. If you did, please remember to click that like button and help support this channel. If you own this corset or another corset by Rebel Madness, please let us know what you think in a comment down below. And if you have any comments or questions about this corset, feel free to leave a comment as well. I'd be happy to get back to you. I'll see you all next week for another corset review. Bye.